we're going to make our pico extension to the end of the row here and that's made just by a simple knitted cast on. Knitted cast on is quite sort of loose and lacy looking along the edge, it's not one of my favourite cast ons but it's very useful when you want to extend the stitches at the end of the row. So I'm just knitting into the outside stitch, bringing the new stitch forward and sliding it onto the needle. And I can speed this up a lot by not even taking my needle fully out of the new stitch. I just put the new needle in and slide my other one back underneath. I've completed adding my 10 extra stitches and now I'm going to bind them off. I can bind them off knitwise, but I find with the purl yarn it's actually easier to bind them off purlwise and it reduces the possibility of me accidentally knitting all the way across the row and getting my pattern wrong. So this is modified conventional bind off purlwise. You work your first stitch as usual and then every time you've got one stitch on your right hand needle you tuck your left hand needle tip through it tip to tip and then put your right hand needle into the second stitch as if to purl normally and just purl the two together. When you've practiced with this it's a much faster bind off than the regular bind off. It's also looser and there is a knitwise version as well which you can use on the other side of the scarf. You'll be well practiced by the time you've finished your scarf. And I make sure I've got rid of all ten of my pico stitches otherwise you'll change the size or the width of your scarf and now I proceed off across the on the first short row of this scarf. Okay. I've done my first short row which was after three stitches and I wrapped and turned around that stitch. My next short row is after six stitches so the easy way to count it is one, two, three and then I know that I'm working into the wrapped stitch and because it's garter stitch I don't need to neaten it. So that's six stitches or wrapped plus two more. Borrow the stitch from the left hand needle for a moment purl wise. Take the piece of yarn around its throat, pop it back again. Turn the work around if you wish although this is an ideal project for working from the right needle to the left. And off I go back and that's a short row wrap. It closes the gap just by borrowing that stitch for a moment and throwing a strangle of yarn around its throat. There's the strangled stitch. That will close the gap and prevent holes from forming.